Brendan. <clears throat> Gail. Scooter. Scooter. Scooter wanted to be in film again. He said, I loved it so much the other day when we were talking about Portland. I cannot wait to do it again. He's not very camera shy. Not too bad. I think he loves it. Do you like it, Scooter? <laughs> huh? He's, he does all the stuff in the shop that's shorter to the floor. Mm -hmm. I don't have to bend over. A good cleaner upper. Yeah. What do we got going on? Okay. We have the Krupp's oh, wait Falcon. Let me... You're going to set... Okay. You've got to get back to work. I think he's on overtime today. Get back so. to work. Bye-bye. He's better get to it. Yep. All right. So we have the Krupp's Falcon. Hmm. Does it fly? <laughs> it does. Around your kitchen and it delivers coffee to you. <laughs> does it make it into the family room too or is it just <laughs> confined to the kitchen? <laughs> it's like those new drones. Oh, good. Yeah. Jeez. Mm. Yeah. Delivering your coffee to them. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's so, a, it's a very a nice machine. It. Yeah, totally. Um, it's a very nice machine. So we have a 57 ounce water tank in the back here. Mm -hmm. Here's the lid. It's got a nice little seal there. Oh, I see that. Kind of rubbery. Mm -hmm. Soft rubber. And it comes with the filter. We got our filter here. It comes up in the back. Mm -hmm. So it's very nice. And that's going to the, uh, the Thermoblox system that Krupps has got a patent on their particular thermo block. Oh, okay. Um, and then we have our bean hopper up here, also with a nice seal, but actually on the hopper, not on the lid. Oh yeah, it's around the outside here. Mm -hmm. Yep. And this nice. is 8.8 .8 ounces of beans as a storage. Yep. And it also has one of those kind of things to guide it down so nothing will get stuck in there, all the beans. So if the beans are a little bit oily, they're going to slide a little better. Exactly. Gotcha. Exactly. Then we All have right. our grinder adjustment here. Nice. Um, and that's going to steel conical burrs. Okay. Um, then we have our little cup warmer there. Mm -hmm. And this comes up and comes off if you want to clean it. But then that's also like your cleaning tablet for when you're cleaning the machine. Oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Because the brew unit doesn't come out on these, right? Exactly. Is that right? The brew unit is not accessible. Okay. And while we're talking about that, we can come over here. And this is our dredge box. That's huge. Yeah, it holds 12. Wow. 12 coffee cakes, Make as sure Krebs put it. folks at home don't break this little tab off because when you put this in, it hits a sensor and it tells the machine exactly. that the dregs box is in place. And if that's not there, the machine yeah. won't work. Yeah, and as you can see right now, it's asking yeah. us. And then there's also this other cool <clears> little <throat> thing that catches extra grounds while it's going into your brewery unit so it doesn't get in a bunch of different areas. Nice. So we'll put that back. And I think when we put this in, it will actually ask us if we emptied it. <laughs> Which we didn't, so it's just trying to keep track of the exact amount of coffee cakes that are in there. Because it goes by count. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have our drip tray here, which has a lot of stuff involved, which is great. It's very organized. We have our grate. That's metal, isn't it? It is. Stainless, yeah. And we have all we have our floater thing letting you know when your drip tray is full and you have to empty it. Mm -hmm. And then we have our super cappuccino assembly in here. Yeah, it's just a storage unit. Exactly. It's got a little magnet on the bottom that makes it stay on there. So that's cool. And then we'll we'll use that in just a minute when we get on when we get into the Whoop didn't mean to <laughs> hit you too hard. <laughs> and that's pretty much it in terms of the outside of the machine. Um exactly. Pretty, There's pretty, that. That's kind of nice. Judging by the size of your cup. Plastic casing. Yep. One thing that uh some people don't like is the fact that right now we don't we can't see the level of the water right now. That's true, you can't. And it doesn't have a swivel. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's really like the only thing, the only major con that I, I have with this machine is like right now, I mean, then there is a sensor. So as you're running out of water, it will tell you, but it's only going to tell you when, when you're running done. out. Exactly. Yeah, gotcha. Um, can you, can you like take off the water tank and show the back of it? It is all black. Yeah. It's solid, but when you lift it, it's clear on the on yeah. the part that goes to the machine. So then when you put this down, it's you don't see any of the the transparent yeah. part of the tank. It's just kind of I could see where that would be a bit of a con. Yep. Yep. You don't you don't see anything. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So what are we making? What do we want to make? <laughs> Cappuccino. <laughs> Should I even ask? Yeah, don't ask. Cappuccino. Let's try the Cappuccino thing. I'm really excited to try it. Okay. So this just pops right off. Is this how this works? Scooter got fuzzies on me. Oh no, I see. I think this stays on, doesn't it? That stays on. And then this goes just This goes in here and this, this when you put it in here, can rotate. On one side it's uh, more foam and on the other side less foam. I see. So this is the foamy side. Put it like that. This goes in the top here. 
and then you just put your container of milk like that. Mm -hmm. Cup. We did notice when we were playing with it that sometimes it's if you have a taller cup, you want to take this out. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, so let's make some some milk. Okay. Steam. Yep. Boom. Boom. And okay, so it's he the preheating is in progress. Yeah, and the other thing that I noticed on this too is you can you can tell it how many seconds to foam your milk. You can go oh, up or cool. down. There's a plus and a minus there, and it says right now 62 seconds. That's a lot. Uh, of, that's a lot of milk. Should, but you can interrupt yeah, it. Yeah, let me bring it down. Sure. What do you what do you think I should go 15 to? 15 seconds. 15? <laughs> Let's see. That's a lot of clicking, Gail. <laughs> hold it. See if it. There you oh go. Oh my gosh, you're right. Just hold it down. You only want I did 24. Okay. Because then we can interrupt it. Yeah, sure. Place the cup. Okay, we're there. We did. <laughs> Cups Tells there. Tells you everything to do. Yeah. Get up in the morning. <laughs> 17 seconds of steaming. It's counting down. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yep, it is. And after this, we'll do a shot. We just let it go for the whole thing. Yeah. That's good. It is, yeah. The cycle is complete. Please remember to clean the nozzle. Okay, all right, okay. Thank See, you, I told you, it tells you yeah, everything. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Let's spray this so. And everything is kind of on the fly here, so you don't preset any of this stuff. You, as you're making your shot, you do what you want to do. So we only want one cycle right now. Yeah, it will grind twice if you have it on two. Mm -hmm. It'll grind and dispense coffee twice. And you can change the aroma, Aroma, the beans. We Obviously, want three out of three. Yeah, three out we of three. We don't mess around. And then the ounces is that? Let's go three. Okay. Let's go three. 2.3. 2. 2. 3. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> we don't want to water it down too much. Okay, here we go. Perfect. The grinder is a little bit noisy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a different pitch than some grinders. Mm -hmm. I noticed the, the uh, tone of it. Come on, I'm thirsty. I know. <laughs> I gotta have some first scale. Okay. <laughs> You want me to do latte art? Can you? Sure I can. This is Gail's super automatic latte art. The infamous. There. You like it? Is that that looks like Scooter? <laughs> yeah, it does, you're right. S Scooter latte art. I can see his tail. Where, where's his tail? It's right there. <laughs> oh, that's his head. <laughs> Come on. Look it. That looks that's a spinning that's image his, of Scooter, I tell you right now. That's his head with his ears up. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like him. <laughs> oh, that cracks me up. Okay, good. And I'm the test dummy here? Yeah. Gladly. Test dummy. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> hot. Once again, yeah, it's actually very hot. Just like, that's what customer service is always saying about Krups, is that the shots are always very, very hot. Yeah, that's hot. Okay, see you later. It's very Thanks. good. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah, I'm done. It's pretty good. I think, it, I think it's a really good machine. Um, For the price, yeah. It's, exactly. Uh, you can look it up on our webpage to get the pricing on it, but not too bad. My two cons really are, you can't really see the water right now. The water tank to see the level. Ex exactly, yeah. the level of the water that's mm -hmm. currently in the machine, um, and that you can't see or access the brew unit. Mm -hmm. um, those are really my two big cons. Well, and hence that cleaning tablet. It makes yeah. you put the cleaning tablet down there, which cleans the brew unit. Haven't had any problems yet. Exactly. We've never had any complaints, mm -mm. but you know, for me, I always have a Murphy's Law approach. Yeah, yeah. Um, it does say steam on here. You can only steam with this uh, super cappuccino. Tori. Cappuccino. Cappuccino. Super cappuccino. Is yeah, the... you know, I'm surprised I said cappuccino Tori because I have a hard time saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Usually I can't say it. So anyway, you can only use it this way. It's not a uh, manual steamer. Yep. Totally. And that's a con for some people, mm -hmm. but not uh, the con on that would typically be that it doesn't get hot enough. Mm -hmm. And that's not the case with this yeah. one. So it's not really a con. So the pros are it's affordable. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of programmability, not programmability. It's got a lot programmed already in it, which you can adjust on the fly. Yep. Um, hot. It's probably one of the hotter machines as far as the shot mm -hmm. goes. Uh, does the milk for you. Yeah. 
I'd say if you're someone that likes to try new things, like not be in a routine of the same shot every day, this one really allows you to be like, you know, just like we just did. Let's try 2.3 oh, ounces. Yeah, exactly. Let's try, you know, medium aroma. Whatever you mm -hmm. want, you can kind of do it as you go. Who goes, who does that? I don't know. That's no, kind of a waste of time. Yeah, it's a waste, yeah. <laughs> it's a waste of a good cup of coffee. <laughs> Well, I All like right. it. I like well, it a lot. Thank you, Scooter. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look as good as you used to, though. <laughs> and thank you, Brendan. <laughs> thank you, Gail. Yeah. Check us out, Seattle Coffee Gear. Any questions you have, check on the webpage or give us a call. See have a good later. day. You too.